This is an unboxing and an installation video on how to set up the Hennem Toy Little Play Zone. So these are the stickers which you can stick on the, uh, if you have a look there, you'll see these are the stickers. So the stickers need to be taken off and put on here. Right, so in the bag are these probably the rubber feet, which are going to be put here, as you can see. I just install them like this. You just lift it over onto the plastic. It's got a little lip going around there and I'm just kind of, Lifting it onto the plastic. Okay, so all the feet on, on, now it's time to just join the side walls with these little connectors. Now, as you can see, there are like plastic pins coming out, so you've just got to align it up and then just press. And I don't know if you noticed, there was a two-part movement there. I pressed it and then it clipped in. And now, clip. Right, this is the door. So you'll have to just make sure that the latch here is on the outside. The door does open either inwards or outwards, as you can see. But what you would want is this on the outside. So that must be facing this way. So that means that... Uh, this would have to be on this side and then this is the uh, activity wall here as you can see you've got the, the phone okay this could go missing so it does clip in there the ball spins as you can see and you've got various rattles dials spores gears and then the funny mirror so this is supposed to be at the back so i'm going to put it towards the back now this door is at the front. Whoops. Right. Now, this is a side wall. So, the side wall is going here. So, I'm just going to join this plastic onto uh, the side wall here. And don't force it. If you feel like it's not going in, just check what's in the wall. All right. Now, press. There we go. And what you can see is a mistake, and I'm glad this happened, because if you find you're having this problem, it just means that I have put the yellow one on both sides here. So it's not a problem. To uninstall this, you'll just press here, like this, and unhook it there. So that I'm just showing you that you can uh, assemble and disassemble this. Now we put that there. And the activity wall is on the inside. And here is the last fitting, joining piece. And it is quite flexible, as you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, in terms of the, the, the materials, I'm quite impressed with it. It's not uh, the jungle gym um, uh, sun resistant plastic that you could see outside. But uh, I think that if you spill things on it and if it's wiped every day, this plastic would be fine. I don't see that. I don't see it wearing out that easily. But only time will tell. Now, as I said, these are a little bit flexible, so you can see how there is room for being bumped and things like that. If the child bumps it, it's not going to break. 
Now, there are some stickers. I've already put two stickers on. What isn't so nice is how this thing was obviously folded in the box. So you've got a line through there. But I'm sure once the sticker is stuck on the uh, unit, that line won't show itself. Let's just have a look here. Let's line that up. Okay, there. So the line is not a problem once it's stuck on. It's a little friendly uh, bear there. And you can decide if you want to uh, put some outside and some inside. Right, so that's the complete unit. With the stickers on, you'll see that the rubber feet are quite good. Now, if I just give you an example, if I try and pick it, you can see that the rest doesn't move because of the rubber feet. It's quite stable. As you can see, it's quite hard to throw this over. I would, I would consider this fine for a two-year-old. And the door, just to explain to you how it works, you will pull it. You have to release this knob here. If you try and pull it without opening the knob, it won't work. You have to pull the knob out and to the side. And there the door opens and closes. This, this might, this design is a little bit flimsy. Uh, you might find it wearing on the corners there, especially if this is left open and the child starts packing it up and down. But anyway, if you keep it in the closed position, I don't see it wearing out much. Close the door. Okay, so as you can see, my concern of the door would be nice if it could stop. Uh, there is this foot here, as you can see, the child, when she walked out, she did catch her foot here. But it's not terrible because it's all curved. Um, but it, you must keep in mind that there is a step here. So a child could fall going in or out. And then obviously you can close the door. So you've got to maybe teach the child that there's a step there. Or also um, maybe put the child in. And then just to give you an idea on the size... From the ground, it is just less than 60 centimeters. Just to give you an idea on the size, the inside width, uh, length is 112, while the width on the inside is about, well, it is 107. So one, just over a meter by one meter 10. And that's the unit. It is going at a slight angle. Um, not quite a square, although you can shift it to the shape that you want. So it can be uh, moved a bit and if a child does, what I do like about it is the fact that the child can push on the side walls and that there's some free play here. So that's a good uh, point.